YouTubers, Jam Spec coming at you. Happy Saturday night, folks. As always, cheers. Well, six days later, folks, we got the typhoon. Uh, JJ went through this thing, dialed it in, took it from a buggy off road to a buggy to get it on and put some numbers up in the streets. Period. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to my man Philip Jolly, folks. Uh, you see a sticker here, Top Speed RC, and uh, that that sticker uh, says every word about the man. This guy gets an RC car. I don't care what you give him. And he's going to put up big numbers. Give this guy a grasshopper from 1989 and he's going to get it in. So anyways folks. I'm super super excited with the way the build came out. Uh, tightened up the shocks. Changed the oil out. Put some limiters in the uh, shocks to lower the car of course. And uh, set up the camber, aligned the wheels, balanced a nice set of S5 high velocity GRPs. They are broke in. I pulled these off of the OG Mamba. So they've been up to about 126 a few times, so I feel comfortable running these. Uh, I know uh, we've had some guys with some troubles out there, and uh, I don't like to see that. It makes me a little nervous. I'm sure everyone else feels the same way. So back to uh, the Typhoon here. We've got everything done on it. Got the uh, ESC installed. We've got the... Uh, The receiver, I'm running a Traxxas for now, uh, remote, and uh, went ahead and threw a Mamba Monster 2 in there, and just so you all can see, boom, we put the silver can, we threw a uh, Cordova in there, had it laying around, it's 1900 KV, so got it set up nice. Right now we've got a uh, SMC pack in there. Uh, start off on some 4S passes, of course. Get used to it. See how she lines up. A little test and tune as we all do and we all know. These cars are worth money. So you can't just go out there and gun it. So take a look through it. Great car. Uh, with the Arma uh, ESC, excuse me, the Arma receiver box, I was able to fit the stock TQI receiver box in there. So if anyone needed to know that or needed some info about that, it does work and fits fine. Nice orange, uh, long, long orange tube there to get some reception we're gonna try to run this one out so uh, I'm excited folks uh, like I said we'll start off with the uh, 4s we'll move on up to 6 and if you guys see uh, my man Philip Jolly and uh, you watch wig splitter and you see uh, mr. typhoon out there these things get it in so I'm excited to see what I can do with it myself and uh, I think after we top it out with the Mamba Monster 2 we'll probably do the uh, XL2 I have an extra one for this uh, this build right here and we'll go up to 8S I think 
and see what kind of numbers we can push. Last but not least, let's take you around back here. Yep, I made a custom, a custom little GPS mount uh, out of some aluminum. Put a nice little bend on it there. Uh, this was uh, also inspired by uh, Mr. Philip Jolly as well. Uh, I know Wig, Wig Splitter, and uh, our man Typhoon. They uh, they run a plate out the back similar to the Rustler. So I wanted to throw my own spin on things, and uh, Fat milled up a uh, nice little uh, aluminum plate. It's very reminiscent of a license plate. Let's go ahead, maybe I can pull this off. So you can see it there. Double mounting area, two screws, two mounting points. Put a bend in it, some Velcro. And that's a done deal. That way we can get them numbers. Um, and then one, you know, one last thing with this build, as everyone knows, uh, there there is no running the stock stock diff, stock center spool. So uh, I had a lot of help from uh, Mr. Jolly himself. Um, he actually handmade a eight millimeter spool with some five millimeter uh, output uh, shafts for the uh, drive cups. And uh, your man here, JJ, was able to fab up some bushings spa in to space uh, the spur properly for pinion alignment and proper function and uh, boy I'll tell you what it came out perfect it really really did so uh, I want to say thanks to him thank you very very much um, I see you out there buddy running that rustler catching them numbers with the uh, the 3S challenge, good work. Um, can't wait to see what kind of numbers you really put up once you start throwing, throwing some power into that thing. It's going to be fun to watch. And uh, that's about all I have with the Typhoon. Folks, if you're looking to get one, thinking about getting one, it's a great vehicle. I've been all the way through this one. From front to back, side to side, it's a beast. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with more uh, tomorrow. It is speed run Sunday, and we do have some good weather here tomorrow. So I am charging up all the lipos tonight, all the nanotechs, all the SMCs. All the all the Turnigy batteries, and we are getting it in so I can run my Poseidon motors, my Castle ESCs, push that new uh, Dr. Dew Mountain Dew car, uh, get Pink Panther out there and blow the dust off of her. And uh, other than that, I'd also like to say this week I saw two great speed passes. I want to give a big shout out to It's Mule. One more time, It's Mule. He did a, per, a PB with a uh, slash uh, GT conversion with a, a Delta plastic body. I believe he hit 133 or 138. And then I also want to give a big shout out to my man, Joe Strickland Sr. Hey man, Mr. Knight Rider himself. That's hauling ass in the middle of the night, bro. Great pass. 
Uh, keep up the good work, guys. Can't wait to see you get to that 140. Uh, and you'll push through that with no problem. Keep at it. Other than that, I want everybody to uh, enjoy their Sunday. Uh, be safe. And remember, RC, forward life. Peace.